So today I am Ooh. I'm on the street this morning. Afternoon shall I say? <laughs> I am actually back at it again. <laughs> so yes, I've just been sort of just coming out at every hours of the day. Whenever this energy asks me to, so I just sort of just been it's coming out. So today I don't even know what I'm talking about yet, or what's on my mind. Uh, but the one thing about it is gratitude today. Gratitude. Just feeling grateful. <laughs> uh, just feeling grateful. That's, that's, that's one of the things that I'm feeling today, just grateful for a lot of things that I don't even know. Some of the things that I, like literally just being grateful for everything, the things that I've taken for granted, because a lot of times uh, we get caught up in our everyday activity and we forget to be grateful <laughs> yeah so that and sometimes every time i remembered i sort of made it known and today is one of those days where i just want to say thank you that's just what it is for me today just saying thank you is what it's all about thank you so it's one of those days where i'm just feeling just real appreciative of everything including the challenges of life because those challenges had made me grow made me become more appreciative of everything in my surrounding <laughs> so today is just one of those days just feeling so grateful so it's almost like uh, I cannot remember having a bad day kind of thing <laughs> everything has just gone according to plan I literally will say I don't have no worries, but the one that I create in my head. So today I'm just grateful for everything. For the ability to just open my eyes. <laughs> and I'm just grateful for it all. The ability to be able to move my jaw. I'm just grateful for the ability to be able to blink an eye. It is funny, there are people who, this time yesterday, they can blink an eye like everyone else, but today they wake up this morning and that ability, for some reason, disappeared. And those people, my heart goes out and I know whatever it is that's going on is for a higher purpose. Just being able to wiggle my toes. Because <laughs> yeah, little, little things like that that we, we take for granted. You know, being able to have a bowel movement in the morning. Uh, the ability to be able to just use my hand to make a cup of coffee. Or <laughs> use my hand to just be able to turn on the TV or look into my telephone or computer just to see what's going on. 
So all those things is just what I'm thinking of today. The ability just to be able to just breathe without anything in my throat or without any assistance from anybody. And if I was like everyone else going to work this morning, just the ability, just being able to have a job, have a roof over my head and being in this situation to where you know you can pay your rent the next day and the day after. Those type of things is all about gratitude today. So a lot of things, they just so many, many things to be grateful for. Yeah. <laughs> the ability to be able to uh, get up, run, get tired, and feel the tiredness and recover and keep on going is gratitude. Everything is amazing. The ability to be able to smile <laughs> uh, without no pain in my jaw is I'm grateful for <laughs> because those things money cannot buy it to be the sense of smell we take a lot of things for granted just the sense of smell uh, the ability to be able to think in a manner that would just benefit self and others when things are not in a certain way according to my ego is oh look at that nice beautiful car <laughs> is what i'm being grateful for this one so many many things to be grateful just looking at my fingers the way you hold things the ability to be able to eat without the assistance of others I'm grateful for. So a lot of things today is just all about that gratitude. The things that we really, really forget all about. Things that we don't take notice of. If you're somebody that likes to get up in the morning and do yoga, stretch your body, the ability to be able to get up in the morning, stretch your body, breathe into the body without no difficulties. You know, getting up, waking up and see another beautiful day. <laughs> I'm grateful for. There are just so many things today that I'm just actually fluctuating with all that energy and all the things that I've actually, because a lot of time we tend to look at the things that doesn't go well in our lives. But in reality of it all, it is the way it's supposed to be. The, the thing behind health until one loses it one doesn't appreciate it to be able to wiggle your toes your ankles to be able to lift up your feet <laughs> those things are just so important the ability to be able to sit on the table or on a chair without no assistance without no discomfort in the body those things is to be <laughs> grateful for. There's so many things that we just take lightly, we don't take serious. The ability to be able to go into a Starbucks, buy a cup of coffee, open up the lid in the coffee without no struggle. The ability to be able to stir the, the coffee, put the lid back on and drink the coffee. Those things, that's wealth. Because if you're held, is not intact those things cannot be done appropriately i remember during my setback 26 miles i was doing two and a half hours three hours <laughs> my setback my first three miles after coming back took me three hours and those things made me realize how fragile your body is, how appreciative I need to be. And I promised myself 
when I was going through those things that I will train my body to run 100 miles again. It isn't about the race, how long it takes, or just being able to participate. Because when you've lost flexibility in your whole body and you have to regain it back, you become more appreciative. It is funny how right now, many put jobs, all these things, which I look at energy, money, in first. They put it in front of everything. But the key to it all is your health. And that's why gratitude is very, very important. The little, little things that we take for granted. The ability to hold a cup. The ability to be able to open up a lead on the cup. I remember there was a time I can't even open up a bottle of water. And that really makes you just think twice about health and wow. How important is this thing called health? How grateful. There are kids who were just born out of no reason. They were paralyzed for no reason. But yet those things, we never think about it. We never wondered what would that be like if that was me? We're so caught up in our everyday life and we forgot that maybe those things can happen to us one day. <laughs> I always say this, it's really funny. When we see a homeless person beg for money on the street, we're very quick to judge. But anyone that can beg for money on the street, that takes a lot of courage to be able to do that. That is somebody being vulnerable to the extreme even though sometimes we do not understand it and i'm talking about vulnerable to the extreme even though a person might come up to you write up a sign with a smile in his face asking for money it is the most hardest thing to do and that's why it's very important very important the blessing in a theological terms, I'll put it. If you're not willing to give from the heart, if you're not willing to give from humbleness, giving money to somebody on the side of the road is just creating what I call mental disturbance that they will never get over. So all these things, because we don't understand the energy, we tend to take it for granted. It's really funny. Uh, I've, met, I've read so many, many, many books. I, <laughs> I'm a lover of studying, of wanting to learn. So everywhere I go, is like a book. Everywhere I go, I always see things to learn. I uh, develop a friendship with some young, I wouldn't say young kids, but they're like 15, 18. And the way I can talk to them, and of course I look like them just because I, I, all this working out that I've done so just to look at me among them you think I'm a high schooler like them but to hear what they had to say is absolutely amazing because I kept myself at their level there was no higher level as a matter of fact these kids treat me more better than the adult did because the adults are too worried about how I look, or my status. But these young kids, they didn't give a biscuit about my status. They just wanted to hear what I had to say in my mouth. <laughs> That's all they cared about, what I had to say. So gratitude, it is today. Gratitude, the ability to have a bowel movement, very important too. The ability to chew a food and just eat in comfort all those things is what i'm thinking of today as i track along on this easy easy 26 mile meditative job i call it easy 26 mile meditative job because 
when I'm on the move, my whole body is relaxed. I'm one with gravity, the universe. The universe pulls me, that energy of gravity just pulls me at a slow, easy pace to where I don't even think I did 26 miles. <laughs> so yes, today is the day of gratitude. It's a little cloudy. I was actually looking for the sun this morning because I've been doing a lot of sun gazing too. But other than that, I have actually spent the last two hours conversating. I probably will have been done by now. <laughs> this is what happens when I go out. I always end up in a good philosophical, spiritual conversation and listen to people. And it's really funny how um, at that moment, all, I'm in a situation to where I'm thinking, why I wish I had this. Then you run into somebody who has it all and you hear the word, but I'm not happy. And I just really, really just like, wow. I guess sometimes looks are deceiving. We're so focused on the looks and the status that we forget to think about the emotions. That's all we look for. What does he have or she has? So we forget about the emotion. We don't, we don't know how to look in the eyes of somebody and see the pain, but the eyes that we know how to look at is the car that they drive and where they live. So yes, <laughs> I'm grateful today. Another beautiful day. Let me continue this ooh, beautiful thing right here that I'm doing. <laughs> And with a lot of smile too. I got a class tonight that I'm really, really looking forward to. I can't wait. I've just been thinking about it. And uh, yes, I'm running behind, way behind today. But it's lovely, I love it. And I'm gonna say happy, it's Tuesday today, right? It's almost the weekend already. Yes, happy Tuesday and one love.